In this video, I am going to show you how to create a Hytale server. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up Hytale Server Manual, like this. Now enter, here you'll find the website called support.hytale.com, click on this link, and this will bring you to this page. Now, what we need to do here is simply go ahead and follow this manual. So basically, if we scroll down here, we're going to see that we need to, well, number one, have this amount of memory, but that should be fine in most cases. And the first actual important thing is Java 25. If you don't have Java on your computer, you will not be able to actually run the server. So first, we need to get ourselves Java 25. To get Java 25, what you want to do is go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up JDK 25. Now enter, here you'll find oracle.com, click on Java Downloads, and this will bring you to this page. Now what you want to do is go to Accept All, and scroll down. Here we have JDK25, click on Windows if you're using Windows, and here we should have the x64 installer here. Click this link to download and install Java, and then you'll be able to run this installer here for the actual server. So make sure you can do this. I already have Java on my computer, but just click this link, I will have a tutorial on how to actually execute the file and everything, and then you should have Java on your computer, and maybe just restart your computer just to make sure everything is on your computer, but you should be fine if you just have Java already, okay? So make sure this is correct. Okay, so now what you want to do is scroll down. Here we have more things, so the server files, and we have two ways to get the server files, but honestly, there's only one actual way, which is this method here, the Hytale Downloader CLI. This is just so much easier. So what you want to do here is go ahead and find the download link, the Hytale Downloader.zip here, Click on this link and this will get you everything you need to get started. Okay, so here is the Hytale downloader here. So what you want to do here is actually just minimize your web browser for now. And here you want to create a new folder. So it can be anywhere on your computer, but just make sure you have a folder to keep everything nice and clean. So I'll create a new one here. So new folder. And here, what you want to call it is just like server, like this. And once you have this, what you want to do is go inside it and here, you want to go to Downloads, select the Hytale Download, and copy it. Now what you want to do is go back to your folder you just created and paste it in. And there you go. Okay. Now what you want to do is once you have this, you want to extract this. So you can go to Extract All, right-click, and just do Extract All, and it will just work. So just do Extract. Okay. And here what you want to do is delete the old zip. Okay. So once you have this, you're going to notice that we have the Hytale Downloader here. So what you want to do here is actually just find the amd64.exe one here and just double click on this. And this will just load up this. And this is the first step here. So we need to just get our Hytale account to verify that we own Hytale. So in this case, copy this first link here, like this. And if we go back to this, the link should look like this. So here just paste this in and it will tell us to log in. So just do sign in with whatever method you have or buy the game if you don't have it. So I'll just do sign in with email because this is what I chose. And here we can continue. Okay, so once we did this, we will need to go back to the link again. So go back up, paste the link, okay, and do this again. And here it is. Now you have optimized device. So just do approve. And here what you want to do is wait a bit. And you will have to put your password here you basically verify that you want to actually do this. So we'll just do this real quick. And here it is now going to say authorized here. And once you have this message, if we close this a bit and here you'll notice that we're going to actually have a downloader here. So this is a good step. So again, we got ourselves our installer here. We verify that we own Hytale and now it is just, well, downloading the files, basically just downloading the game again but just differently, and we could be able to actually continue from this. So for now, this is quite easy. Let's just go ahead and wait for this installer here to finish. And here is the zip for that. So yeah, let's just go ahead and wait for this to, well, download complete. Okay, once it's done, what you want to do is just go ahead and basically just delete all of these files here. You won't need this. And here is our zip here. So what you want to do is just extract all, or just extract all again here, and just do extract. And now we need to wait for this to finish extracting. So yeah, it might take a little while as this is quite big, 
but we just need to wait for this thing to extract and then we can go ahead and actually continue with the install process of the server so yeah it's a bit more intense this time but let us go ahead and do this okay so here is our zip we don't need this anymore and here is our new folder so here is everything we need so basically the way you want this to work you basically want to go ahead and copy these two things here like this and then you want to go to your server again this is your main root for your server like file you just created and just paste this in here now what you can do is just delete the hightail downloader and this is basically what we had from the previous folder so here what we want to do is go to server and here you basically want to go ahead and select everything in there copy it go to server again and paste it in there like this and now you want to delete the server folder that is created by Hytale. And just to make this nice and simple again, basically where we are here, we are basically in our desktop here, the thing we just created in the start, and we are directly here, okay? So once you have this, what you want to do is go back to the manual. And if we go down, this is how we start the server. Now, if you notice, we have path to assets. So I'm going to show you what this is. But basically, you want to copy this. This is why I want to use the manual, just so you can copy paste things. And you basically want to go back to the folder. Here, what you want to do is basically go ahead and right click and do open in terminal. Here, what you want to do is basically go ahead and paste in the thing like this. And here, just change the path to assets just to assets. So, assets like this. Because here is our Hytale server.jar, it's here. And our assets is assets.zip, which is here. As you can see, it's in the same directory. That is why I did this. And now if we just enter, it is now going to start the server. As you can see, it's creating a bunch of things. And basically, if you see some yellow text, it's good. If you see some red text, it's bad. So again, this doesn't mean it's bad, but like basically here, if you see like a bunch of text saying like it can't verify assets, whatever, this is bad. But if you see a bunch of yellow text, it means something is actually bad. Okay. So here we have our server. It is technically online, but of course we need to verify that we are on the game again. So what you want to do is go to this here and you want to do like copy this off login and it will just say something else afterwards. So here it is off login browser device. So just do device like this and enter. Okay. So here we now need to go ahead and copy the link again. So it will be this link here and you can just go ahead and have this link as well. It basically just if you copy this link, use this code. If you copy this link, the code will be automatic. So if we just copy this link here, like this, and we go back to our web browser, just make sure everything is correct, okay? And once the link is correct, you can just enter. Here, just do authorize again. And here, it is gonna probably like say everything is good. And here, the server will be asking us that we want to keep this in memory for just more security, or we can do encrypted just so we keep this later. So in this case, what you want to do is copy the off persistence and just you can basically just decide what you want but in this case i would do encrypted because in most cases if you want to have a server of friends or whatever you probably don't want to go ahead and have to keep doing this authentication thing so basically just do enter once you have this and here it is now what you want to do is do stop like this and this will save the server like this okay now you can close the um, actual powershell in this case and here is um thing which actually shows that we have the game now okay so what you want to do here is make a new file so make a new file called text document here and what you want to call it is basically just run so you make a new text document calling run so that's its name it's run.txt if you can't see the uh, file extensions here just go to view and show and do file name extensions okay but basically here is our text document and here what you want to do is basically go back to the manual copy this code again so copy this and here you basically want to go ahead and just change it to assets again and of course if you have your assets in a different folder you can make this but just make sure just for simplicity just copy what i did here everything in the same path it will just make it just so much easier and once you have this what you can do is just save this okay so now this is saved here what you can do is just do its name its actual name is going to be bat like this but not bat that is how you run most java applications like this and basically now what's happened is that we have our hightail server 
And instead of running this, we'll run this. And like this, we can actually just go ahead and keep running this normally like this. Now it is going to run everything and we won't need to actually go ahead and do the command line all the time. As you can see, our server is booted without us doing anything because we did have our encrypted thing here. So now we're not done because we need to go ahead and just make sure everything works. Now, this is nothing big. Basically, uh, here you can change your port if you want, although this is a default port, so it's probably good to keep it. And here's the Windows Defender Firewall. This is a big one here. Again, you just make sure to copy this code and just basically go either to like a terminal window or PowerShell. So you will need to run this as like admin. So just do like, I don't know, PowerShell. It doesn't really matter. But just make sure it is as admin. And yes. And here just paste in this and just do enter. And you have to wait and there you go. Just make sure this is like correct and like everything is like okay and everything because you will need to go ahead and have the port and everything. So yeah, that is the start here. This is our port. So now we can just go ahead and close this. And here is our server. So first of all, we need to see if we can join a server because I will be doing port forwarding after this. So to get started, we want to go to our server here and we want to go ahead and just simply play on the server. So here's a Hytale. And if you want to test out your server on your computer, what you want to do is the following. So basically you will want to go to servers and here you want to go to add server and just basically call it local host like this. And for the name, just call it anything you want. Add server. And this is our server here. So if we basically double click it, we're now connecting to the server. As you can see, this is our server. It's doing a bunch of weird things. And here we should be in the server in no time so that is the first thing we want to do is just go ahead and do this so there's a bunch of red text but it's fine just things are standing out should be fine so let's go ahead and wait for this to actually finish okay and yeah so afterwards we'll just go ahead and do our local ip so we'll just go ahead and like actually connect this by local ip directly but basically here is Hytale, as you can see, we are able to join it. So here is our server. Basically anyone on the same device can join it for now. So that is not super useful. So let's just go ahead and see if everyone on our network can join our server. So here, just quit this and let's just go ahead and join this in another way. So here, let's go to our Wi-Fi. And what we want to do is basically just scroll down a bit. Here we have our gateway, which we'll mess around with later. And here we have a Wi-Fi. This can also be like the same thing with Ethernet if you want. But basically just copy this IPv4 address and this is anyone on the same network for now. So if we basically go back to Hytale, which just seems to have closed, we'll just go ahead and open this up in a new server. So this is our old server, we'll just delete this. And to make a new server, we'll just do our IP address for our computer and we'll just call it the name again. Okay. And as you can see, we are also able to join our server. And as you can see, it's also way quicker now because, well, we joined it before. So that is pretty cool. So yeah, that is how we basically get this to work on our main network. But of course, you probably want your friends to join your server. So to get people to join your server, what you want to do is go to this gateway here. Basically copy this. And here, you basically want to go ahead and go to your web browser and paste this in. Okay, so this is your router. So you will need two things here. Know what your router gateway is and know your router password. You probably know it or maybe it's like behind your router. It should say like password or just key or something. Just find this and you'll be able to just go inside your router. Here, you want to go ahead and go to advanced. You basically want to have some form of password to know that well, the router knows it's an actual administrator and it will allow you to access the ports. If your router allows you to change ports without password, there's an issue. But in this case, most cases you should have a password that is required. So let's just go ahead and fill up this information. Okay, so what you want to do is once you're in your actual router, you will want to find a port forwarding or NAT forwarding or just port, like tag somewhere. Just try to find it. It might be completely different for you, but it should be something with ports. And what you want to do here is just go to create new rule and yeah, we'll have something that looks like this. So basically what you want to do is just call it something like Hytale. Here for the protocol, 
what's important is if we go to the manual and we go ahead and like see we have Hightail uses like protocol over like UDP not TCP so what this means is that if we go here we have these two options just have UDP here here for the ports well if you did not change a port it would just be this one here so just copy this and just go to this like that yeah so just get all the ports in there get UDP your name and for your IP address well it is this one here the one we know that works that's why I made you join this before because I just you know that you can join us on all networks while connected to your main computer or like basically if you have a computer on the same network it can join it that's the idea so basically just go ahead and paste this in like this and you should have something that looks like this okay and this will be different probably for you but it should look like this now just do create and just do save okay so here it is now basically online just don't mind the chromecast let's call this for some reason but here we have our port it is on and basically this device or ip is basically uh, open to this and our firewall is also open to this port so we now need to know what our ip address is our public ip so to do this just go ahead and go to a website just any website honestly just what's my ip you know the classic just enter and here you'll find some websites just go on the first one doesn't really matter and just find whatever it finds of you this is our ip address here it will be different for you and what you want to do is basically go to Hightail again because now we need to see okay well our server is online so if you are able to join using this IP address anyone in the whole entire world is also able to join us so if we go to servers I'll delete this one just for simplicity add server or IP address this is the public one and I'll just do name like this again now if we do add server and we join it and we look here look at this awesome so now we are able to join using the external IP so indeed we are now port forwarding so yeah that is absolutely awesome and just for a small experiment if we go ahead and just go to our router here and we turn this off like this now it is off and we try joining again it should not allow us to join depending on how your router actually like cache this information it should not just allow you to join so if we try this again what is the same one here but as you can see it is not talking to us anymore because it is trying to connect to an IP which is off so yeah this is a good example if you want to make sure it works and on and off and stuff and you can't join it is, it's failed because now we well are off we turn this thing on again and we just wait there you go and again depending on how fast your router can cache this information like this this one is quite fast honestly but you'll be able to quickly be able to tell if your server is actually accessible or not so yeah, that is how we basically make a Hightail server from scratch and how to port forward it so anyone in the whole entire world can play with you. So yeah, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!